can't beat having fresh homegrown avocados right in your backyard. And look how nice that tree looks. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Growing Organic. Okay, what I'm gonna do today is harvest some avocados and I'm also gonna give you guys some growing tips so you can successfully grow your own avocado in your backyard. Now, for starters, you can see there's a lot of old leaves. Let me just shake this. See all those leaves are falling on the ground um, and new growth is coming out. So this is a good time to go ahead and harvest the rest of your avocados off the tree. That way the tree can focus on new growth. So you can see down here, got a couple right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these off. Okay, there's another one right there. We are here in zone 10B. We do have a lot of salt in the air, which does make it difficult to grow. Ooh, I just broke off the branch. But I'm managing to do pretty well here. See if we can get some more avocados here. I'm gonna get all these off. Oh, there's two more right there. Check it out, I just opened one of these avocados. Homegrown, organic. They taste amazing as well. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna give you guys some more tips as well on growing avocado trees. So first of all, this is a Haas avocado. This is a type A. And if you want to get more production out of it, um, it doesn't need a pollinator, but if you do get a pollinator, you'll get a lot more yield out of your avocado tree. So what I need to do is get a type B to help pollinate this tree, and next year I could get a lot more, or the next harvest I could get a lot more if I had a pollinator. Even though the Haas, you don't typically need it, because I don't have any avocado trees around here. So what I need to get is probably like a Fuerte or a Bacon. Those are type Bs. So that's my next plan is to get the pollinator tree. Also, now I mentioned the chain. You can see up here, I tied the chain back to the top. So this is completely stabilized. I have the ocean wind blowing. So this cannot fall over then it's connected to this bamboo as well. So if you look down here, let's look down at the base. So I got this bamboo tied all the way to the bottom, so this is completely stabilized. Once the tree gets a little bigger, I could probably take this off. But let's take a look at what I did down here. This is something you really need with, with your avocado trees, is a thick layer of mulch. Now you can see, down here, I'll try to dig a little bit, a little bit of this back. Look how thick I have this mulch down. And it's quite a diversity of different types of wood chips, leaves. This will keep your soil temperature about 15 to 20 degrees cooler. So you wanna to try to get to about six inches thick. Um, that would be ideal. That'll make it a big improvement for your trees because these avocado trees are actually very shallow growing, um, have a very shallow growing root system. So they don't go down more than about a foot into the ground. So when you're digging or planting a tree, an avocado tree, you want to make sure you dig it really wide. And this thick mulch layer is going to really insulate the soil, feed the microbes and the worms and and this will be a very great environment for your avocados to grow. 
So you can see here, I still have avocados on the tree. There's one here. So I still have probably about 10, I think. I think this year I got about 30, but look at all that new growth. So this new growth comes out really quick. This would be a good time to start feeding your avocado tree as well. For pruning, you don't really want to do too much pruning with your avocado trees. That doesn't really uh, help too much. I'm trying to get mine to go higher rather than wider. And what I did was I cut actually the first four feet, there's not a branch, actually about four feet up. So all the way up here, the first branch starts. So I did cut at least four feet from the bottom with my first branch. And then you can see the, the branches kind of bend down, especially when you get the weight on them with the avocados. So keep the pruning to a minimum because what can happen if you prune too much, you're gonna expose the trunk and avocado trees are prone to burn of the stems if you have any um, direct sunlight. Another thing I do is also I bury food scraps. So besides having the thick layer of mulch, I am burying into the dirt my food scraps, uh, egg cartons and things like that basically composting in place around my trees. Can't beat having fresh homegrown avocados right in your backyard. And look how nice that tree looks. Springtime avocado tree just doesn't get any better. All right guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, click like, and we'll see you next time. Citrus. As soon as I have some tomatoes, I'll be able to make a salad.